What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends. So here I am doing my final adjustments before I start plumbing the tank. You guys can see. So I did both sides. Now I can go to sleep. You know, with no worries. So now we got all these holes in the front here. And we're gonna we have the safety ones for the size. Just to make sure. And let me move the camera a little closer over here. So you guys can see. I'm gonna remove the top. So and the good thing is I still could put the lid on it. You know, so that's gonna hide my work a little bit so it don't look that fugly. But everything looking good. So this overflow, like I said in the video, brings two gaskets. So one's going the inside. Just like that. Then what I did to the back overflow, me and Rip and the guys was talking about uh, my overflow. And what I ended up doing, this overflow box come with this type of gas gasket, you could call this, or seal. I think it's a seal. Uh, Uniseal, okay. <laughs> the name is right there. It has the name Uniseal. All right, so the, the way this thing works, you put it in the hole, and once you put the PVC through it, it will expand, it will make a seal. So that's how, you know, you prevent from having leaks. But it's a three quarters, so it's the water flow going through this, I need more water going through this um, overflow than anything. So what I ended up doing, I had this piece of uh, one inch PVC. So this is what I ended up doing. So I put one here, one inside with a gasket, as you guys can see. So now it's a one inch um, overflow both sides this is a one inch and this is your standard pvc one inch so now again uh, i guess it's gonna make the performance of the overflow better so it's a little bit tricky to put this overflows in oh and the other gasket goes in the inside you guys can see it's a gasket in the inside so This is the hardest part to put in. It's kind of tricky. You just gotta find the tool. If I do this one fast, it'd be the first time. But when I first, it's a little uncomfortable to work inside this overflow. But there we go. This is the fast that I put. I put this thing in. So. Try to tie it the best I can by hand. Tight as I can. I mean, I could tie a little more. This should make a little wrench that at least you can fit in here <laughs> to tie this one in. In this small overflow boxes, it is kind of uncomfortable. But what I do is I move this one this way a little bit and then like that. So tie this one and then flip this one like that. It's a little bit tricky, but you find you find a way to tie it in. I think it don't have to be super tight, you know, as long as you get water doesn't go through it. But the the one in the inside is really tight. And once water starts going through, um Water mostly is not going to go all the way up. It's just going to keep going down. So hopefully it don't reach the um, the gasket here. So, but there you have it. So I got some plumbing to do. I'm going to get myself here. Um, try to figure out how I'm going to do the plumbing in this tank. But... Um, I went to Lowe's. I got a bunch of PVC. 
I got me one of these. It's a one inch. But the only thing, I didn't find the slip. So I had to go with a thread one. So that means I got a lot of threading to do. So yeah, I know. It's too much thread. The same thing with the, um, how you call this, the unions? Same thing. I didn't find the one with slip. So I had to go with the threaded one, but it's okay. It's for now, it's temporary. And what I'm gonna do is once I get the ones that I need for this tank, I return these. I save the receipt, so that's, that's a good thing, you know? So, and what I'm gonna do for this side is, this is how we're gonna work that side up, watch. I'm sure you guys, I'm not gonna use PVC in the return, so I could get the most flows I, I could get from the return pump. So in that case, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this connector here, boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna attach that there, and that's gonna be from our return with the flexible tubing going to the pump. And we call it a day. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, those little upgrades I did to the overflow box. And I see you guys once I get this plumbing done. Uh, nah, um, I don't want to make this a long video, but I'm going to record certain portions of the video so you guys can see how I'm doing the plumbing. All right, so thanks for watching. Kali Sofi Fal. Thanks.